What's up guys, Cyber Houdini here and welcome back to Until Dawn, baby. Yes, we are back for the final time. Who lives and who dies? We're about to find out. We're dropping like flies, Jesus Christ. I have managed to kill off a fair few man of these poor little teenagers. So with Evil Dead, uh, the video game dropping tomorrow, I thought um, I thought I could squeeze both of them in. And then I'm like, oh, maybe I've got like three or four hours left of Until Dawn. So it might be best just to knock this one out. Now tomorrow, how, how all these fucking games seem to, like Friday the 13th, all of them, they seem to uh, get, the servers get slammed the first day and they rarely ever work. So we'll see if tomorrow will be a success at all. But I'm excited to try it out. <clears throat> you never know. So, I think uh, so far, let's see who's dead. Jessica is dead. Matt is dead. Josh was dead, but then we had crazy re revelations, so that's my who else? I think that's about it, right? I think Emily's still alive the fecker Beside besides my uh, my best efforts. So we went from uh, a creepy freaking uh, Stalker to uh, as I was calling him, the bunny man, and then we went to a, a ghost um, we had this like fucking flamethrower ex janitor guy, uh, and now we're onto these weird, weird monsters. I don't know what the hell they are. They're like, they're like I don't know. They got like stretchy claws and stuff. Some some creepy lanky monster. So we'll see where that's going. Mike and Sam seems to be the the heroes now. The, their spiritual successor game to this, which is known as the Quarry, is coming out in June. Hence why I decided to play this. I had never played it myself. I had seen it so many times though. My goodness, but yeah, I, I do want to kind of get into uh, celebrating the weekend with some some horror, some jump scares, especially if it's more on the narrative side of things. Because uh, with this, like you know, choice based stuff, because I think that can be super uh, interactive as well, which I like. Hello, how's it going, Lacuna? How you doing, man? Jesus Christ, huh? Every every time I go and check the internet, something else is going on in the game sphere. Good lord! So we've had Starfield and Redfall. Boat delayed into 2023. What were they thinking? The thing is, I don't even care about the delay. That's me being perfectly honest. I I always stand by games needing as much as they time as they need. But the problem is, they fucking announced the release date like last year. They're like, oh, we're shooting for 11, 11, 22, whatever the fuck it was. Um. So of course that probably put a heap of pressure on the studio, on the team. And just genuinely a, a overall stupid idea. And it's the kind of thing we hate in the video game space. And um, this thing of just, you know, uh, putting release dates when you uh, probably have no true expectations of ever hitting it. And this is without, you know, even without COVID. So yeah, the, uh, it sucks. It's another moment of uh, Todd, uh, Todd Howard, I think. This guy is a, a showman first. You know, I used to think he was a bit of a visionary. But I think he's all talk. He's too much of a showman. He's the, he's the same guy who, who bigged up uh, uh, Fallout 76 for it only to be a disaster. So he gives he gives off more uh, Peter Molyneux vibes than anything else. Peter Molyneux used to be the head of uh, Lionhead Studios for Fable and that. And he had a nasty, dirty habit of hyping the shit out of his games, mentioning um, features and mechanics that were, you know, never seen in a video game before and they never made it into the game like it was this very famous speech where he talked about this acorn this magic acorn in fable that would grow over the course of the game and all this bollocks and it just never happened it was oh so he 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 continued doing that into his career even after he left Lionhead. so um sadly that's how i feel with with todd howard um he's he, i always just thought he was a studio head but all i see now is uh, the showman selling uh, snake oil that sucks. So, um, by doing both that and uh, Redfall being delayed, that sadly has pushed um, nearly all of Xbox's big exclusives for the rest of the year out the window. Now they just have a random release date of the first half of 2023, so you couldn't get pretty much more vague than that. We hadn't seen much from either game anyway. Both of them hadn't really shown off any gameplay, but that's not really that big of a thing because... Um, you know, when we got Fallout 4, they showed at E3 and then it came out in November. So it wasn't that big a deal. Uh, Redfall is the newest game from Arcane, the Dishonored guys. It, it seems to be a, a four-player uh, vampire shooter with powers thing kind of game. I, I wasn't too hyped on it. I love my vampires, but 
I do not like where the industry is going, trying to chase Fortnite and chase the division and all that. It's a pain in the ass. How, how's it going, Dong? Hello, dude. Game scared the holy dicks out of it. Yeah, dude, I never got to play it because I think by the time we all, wait, this came out, uh, we were all doing our YouTube thing and everyone and their granny was playing it. And I, I was like, nope, I didn't even have a PS4 at the time anyway. I saw your tweet about it. I don't know what they put the date on it. Well, yeah, just early 2023 or the first half of 2023. So, yeah, game delays suck. Uh, you know, it's nice the teams get more time. Uh, let's hope it, you know, they don't want another Fallout 76 moment. People were saying, oh, you don't want another uh, Cyberpunk mo moment. But, like, these guys already got their own fucking handful of disastrous launches. Um, Yeah. So, we'll see. We shall see. It fucking sucks, though. So now we'll have like the E3 coming up. They're getting all the bad news out of the way first, huh? We get E3 coming up and the, the little Xbox showcase. But uh, what's end up going to happen is they're going to show a lot of Starfield off or a lot of Redfall off. And now with the added little kick in the teeth of it, you know, being another year out. You know, if I had my way, games would just be announced six months and then come out. You know, that kind of way. Always a, a six month um cycle between uh announcement and release because i think it's enough time this thing of uh waiting three years after a game is launched people forget the internet forgets within seconds all right so let's get into some until dawn i think we're close to the end of this now we're playing as as mike we're, we're hunting down these creepy old monsters i think i don't know what the fuck it is but apparently the the poor twins at the start of the game hannah and beth sadly Josh. Josh, it looks like they didn't die the way that we thought they were gonna die. Emotions that my sisters got to feel once one year ago. Josh has gone oh, quite mad. What? They didn't get to laugh it off. No, 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 no. They're gone. Jessica's fucking dead. What? She's she got her jaw me? ripped off. Jessica is dead. And you were gonna fucking pay, you ah! dick. What happened with Jess, Mike? I don't remember killing Jess. She's Christ. Jess is dead. Oh, and fucking Matt's dead, but this old prissy oh, bitch is still God, alive. Matt! That was the characters you hate the most. Uh, still around. I wonder how far it looks like it put us back a little bit, maybe, did it? No, maybe not. Maybe it just did it did it previously on no matter what. Oh, baby, baby. Yeah, so Emily's definitely not people's favorites, that's for sure. But we have to stick with her. So, yeah, their the next game is uh, The Quarry coming out in June. And then they're probably going to have a new game in the Dark Pictures saga. See where that goes. The Devil in Me. I've seen a poster for it. It's the same kind of little skull, but with uh, some of the, the characters in it. Yeah, so these screeches seem to be... Uh, we're making friends! What's crapping? Hey, how's it going, Val? Hello, hello. How's everybody doing? More horror games, the better. Tomorrow is uh, the Evil Dead game. So it's kind of like a... Uh, it's got the Friday the 13th model, you know? We'll see how it goes. If it's anything like the launch of Friday the 13th, the servers are going to get beaten into the ground. But it looks like it'll be a lot of fun to play the bad guy in that game rather than uh, the awkwardness of playing Jason. Friday the 13th is super fun, though. Still is, like, I still hop onto it from time to time. Yeah, we're getting close to the end of this. Everybody's dropping like flies. It's one of those things to try and save everybody. I genuinely think you'd probably have to use a guide or three. The people you want to die never end up dying. Just like real life. Look at you, Putin. Someone needs to put a bullet between your fucking crooked nose, you bastard. Bastard! Elden Ring did it right. Announced the complete silence for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, Elden Ring turned out pretty damn good. Holy shit. Okay. 13.4 million. Be... Holy. Shit! Why would she need to get... Oh my god! That's our first... It's so lanky, look at it! Oh my god. It's our first look at it. What the fuck is that? Go left! Lefty surface elevator. Oh Jesus. Will the crazy bitch survive? Be no power, will there be? I really gotta do this. God. Oh, God. 
It's not gonna be that easy. Jeez, what? How is it so fast? Okay. Okay. Shit. Oh, lanky arms. Okay. Are you for real with these cuties? Get him! Oh, so that's the thing that's been doing that all along. The predator vision. Whoa! Holy shit! Emily's resourceful. This is for chopping wood. Or maybe bringing coal out of the mines. Stay on, leap off. Stay on! I don't think it really gave me an option there. Oh fuck. Oh fuck! Oh! <laughs> I was so close, we almost got Emily mincemeat. I should have let her go. I should have let her go. God, you don't get that many uh, chances to save the other people. Poor Matt. Oh! Did she get bitten? She did! There's so many QTs! Oh my god, how the fuck does anyone do this? You wanna be on Adderall or some shit for this? She's been bitten! Not quite zombies, but you never know. She's been bitten. Damn, that was wild. Holy fuck. I, m I must have counted about 15 QTs there. Jesus! Tomorrow, yeah, yeah. It's only 40 bucks, though. Might be nice. This looks like there's more to do as the, as the bad guy with the deadites and that. Summoning little tiny, tiny evil monsters. Oh, fuck. Crap. What now? Let her in quick. Purposely missing the prompts. Y yeah, no. Shut the door. Oh my god, shut the door. Emma, are you alright? I didn't think that I'd make it. You were screaming bloody murder. Are you okay? You look totally lost. There was something. Where's Matt? Come sit down, sit down. Something's out there. Did you there. guys split up? A monster. The monster. Wait. Oh god. I don't like Chris. What are you talking about? I said He's there's dope, something like. out like there. Like what? Ash, relax, it was Josh. It was all Josh. No, 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 listen to we me. We got him tied up. He can't hurt you. No, it was after me, and it wasn't human. Hold on. Confused. Yeah, this guy just... He, he, Ask, he's been stupid. Exactly what happened. I am trying to tell you. We were climbing up the tower, and it... It fell. The whole tower just fell right into the mines. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What mines? There are these mine shafts all over, running under everything. When the tower fell, we ended up down there. I don't understand. The tower fell? How'd it fall? I, I was walking down there in the mines, and it was dark, and I found this pile, and there was Beth's head. Wait, what? Beth's head. Yeah, I, I know what oh the fuck God. is going on with those two. Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. I think they fell down there. Oh, Jesus Christ. But the worst part is I don't think that Hannah died, like, mm. from the fall, not right away. Wait, what? What do you mean? I don't know, I feel like she was down there, like, starving to death for weeks. Ugh. And we were all up here looking for her, and we had no idea. Jeez, it showed them cracking their heads on rocks, but clearly that Listen, was in, just in for tower, effect. There was, there was a radio, and, and I got through to someone, but then that was right when the tower collapsed. Em, you made it. Oh, God, yeah, yeah, Mike. <sighs> Wait a minute, what Jess is dead, figure that out. and... Monster that was Matt is dead. Uh oh. She's all messed up. Guys. It was all a plan for Emily to Emily? get back with Mike. Hey, Em? Whoa. Who the fuck can that be? Josh. Jess? It's not Jess. Sorry, man, but who is it? Yeah, we gotta talk I to this uh, fire flamethrower guy. I got your back. He might actually help us. Good. I'm so pissed the ghost stuff. There he is. All the ghost stuff was fake. That made me sad. It was genuinely spooky. There he is. The motherfucker has a flamethrower. I'll cover the door. Give me the pistol. No, this guy can't even scratch his nuts properly. No fucking way. Okay. I'm gonna open the door. You ready? The mic might be ready? a trigger finger. Itchy. Just do it already. Whoever it is is probably gone by now. I, unless you want me to take the gun. No, no, no. I think that's less good. You do the door. I got the gun. It's Laurel and Hardy out here. 
fuck me. Sometimes they really just go in on it and it drives me nuts. Fuck off! It's leftover stuff from the six axis days. <laughs> Hold on there. Hold on there, mister. Calm down, mister. Freeze. Oh, Whoa! Alright, alright. Just take it easy, Grandpa. Okay, everybody, just calm down. Yeah. Uh, just move over there. Go on, move. Let me say what I came to say. He's marked as well. I'm here to tell you what you're up against being back on this mountain. You should never have returned. I don't know why you did after what happened last year. You mean with Hannah and Beth? Yeah, how could you know without being involved? Oh, we're responsible. You hold on to your horses. I don't take kindly to you kids. I don't take kindly. My mountain. Your mountain. Huh? I'm sure the Washingtons would be very surprised to hear that. <laughs> well, the mountain don't belong to me, it's true. But it don't belong to the Washingtons. This mountain belongs to the Wendigo. Oh! <laughs> Who? What is he talking about? The Wendigo. The Wendigo. Let's hear him out. It's like a fucking I werewolf chimera beast. Now, I'm only gonna tell you this once. The skinwalkers! It doesn't matter to me if you believe it or not. I got reasons I want I love it. To get it I'm a big fan of cryptids. See? I told you. He's guilty as shit. Guilty as something. Shut up, Mike. There is a curse that dwells in these mountains. Should any man or woman resort to cannibalism in these woods, the spirit of the Wendigo shall be unleashed. Oh, crap. Cannibalism? <laughs> Creepy. You're gonna need to find somewhere safe. The basement might be okay. okay. Someone's been eating pussy. Now, all of you, and wait. What? Why? For how long? Until dawn. Oh, let's see what you did there. Guys, I ran off and left Josh when I heard screaming. Where did you leave him? Oh God, he's tied the up shed. in the shed. Uh, your friend will already be dead. No. No, he can't be. We, we were just with him. A lot can happen quickly on this mountain. Ma! No. I'm gonna go get him. You can't go out there, Chris. I'm supposed to be his best friend, and, and, and I let him down. No, he let you down, Chris. He let all of us He's kind of gone cuckoo for there. Coca Pops, though. Then I'll go with you. Yeah, you're the one with the fucking flamethrower. Ain't going alone. It's suicide. A flamethrower is like World War II right, era. You. Get down to the basement. Be safe. Don't go outside again until we're back. You don't seem to understand the magnitude of the situation. Well, I'm going to get Josh, aren't I? No, I'm going to get Josh. You're going to help me. Yeah, skinwalkers. Understand. She said it. She did the uh, thing. Every time I hear Wendigo, I think yeah. of the movie Ravenous. Ooh. So you need to follow me and do everything I tell you. So many great lesser-known horror movies out there. Then they choose to remake every fucking popular franchise. I'm like, God damn it! I don't want to control Chris. Oh man, don't give him the gun. What you do? You end up shooting. This is the you. end. You point towards the thing you want to kill. I know how to use a shotgun, man. You gotta fucking fool me, dude. What? I think the I hair gel is seeping into your head. Trust me, I know. Hey. Ba -ba -ba. Come back safe. Oh, what the fuck is this shit, man? What the fuck is this shit? He gets the girl. See you soon. I'm sorry, Chris, but so you have now committed a mortal sin what's in horror uh, movies and horror games. What's the guy gotta know? You get some pussy, you die. You're next to die. I'm sorry. It was just a little smoochy boochy, but that's all it takes. The wind to go smells so. it. How many times do I have to shoot it with the shotgun before it's dead? So is this lanky thing meant to be the Wendigo? It a long time. I'm so used to them being like yeah, hairy big things, it? you know? No, it'll slow it down. Well, how do you kill Guess not. it? What the, what's like the fire. ritual all about? Like the deer fire. head, the dream catchers, all that stuff. Well done, it. camera. Switch over so that left is now right and right it's is left. Tough arm. Not like we didn't learn that. Resident Evil. 1990 fucking six. Blah. Do I have control? I don't. What are these things like? I mean, are they just crazy unpredictable, or... I mean, can you figure out what they're gonna do? Well... They adhere to some pattern. Like any animal. Mm. 
Poor human. Now we gotta figure out where the cannibalism like how, comes into. Maybe, well, maybe the miners was there miners well, trapped down there. Why? I but it sounds like it was more recent. Maybe this guy's a cannibal. Do you see his fucked up teeth? Jesus. Yeah. Uh, pro Wendigo tips. Like if I rub garlic all over me, they won't be able it's to like, smell. Yeah. Me. How did this guy know about the Wendigos, huh? Anything like that. So there, there is a uh, yeah. a prequel to this Stand game. Still. Called the Inpatient, and it's on sale for a tenner, but it is PSVR only, which sucks. I still want to get it though. And basically, it takes place in the 1950s when the sanitarium in the game, the mental hospital, was so overrun by some creepy, crazy shit. Looks fun though, you know, like you, you get to do all your usual choices, but it's uh, you know, with VR, so you're kind of looking around and doing all that stuff. This also got like an on-rail shooter as well with Rush of Blood. Wendigos are Where did they go? Oh no, Josh! Oh lord. They still have some aspect of... oh, no. I don't feel so bad about Josh. He, he was crazy though. Oh, he's gone. We're too late. Shh, quiet. We gotta go. Right now. We gotta find Josh. He could still be out there. <laughs> First, the Wendigo. He'll render you immobile. He? And then he strips the skin off of your entire body. Ah, oh, KFC! And then he keeps you alive and aware and feasts on your organs one piece at a time. Making me hunger. So to watch that. Josh is Freddie Mercury. <laughs> yeah, he does look like him, huh? Might still be near. I guess that dude from uh, Mr. Robot. There's actually a couple of big name actors in Hayden Panettiere from uh, what's it called? Heroes. It's been a long time since Heroes. Oh, crap. Josh was was cuckoo for Cocoa Pops. Yeah, so they went on after this. They went on. They did that, like I said. They they did a prequel and then an on rail shooter with rush of blood. It was like being in a a uh, uh, saw, uh, carnival, all traps and stuff, uh, and then they did the the dark pictures the anthology, which are these smaller bite-sized horror get it. games. Man of Medan, House of Ashes, Little Hope. And they sell them pretty well. They're able to kind of churn them out every year, which is clever, and they're only thirty bucks. Um, but they must have had a separate team because now next month they're bringing out a new game called The Quarry, which is meant to be as big as Until Dawn. You know. So it'll have a full price tag as well. Whereas uh, the smaller Dark Pictures game is only about three or four hours long. But people, you know, they take off because uh, the uh, Twitch streamer stuff allows people to make the choices and all that. So those things. Oh, fuck. See, that's some bullshit. I'm not moving. Run! I fucking hate Go. that. Jesus Christ! They're so fast! Oh no, he's dead! Oh my god, we are. F wow! They took his head that fast? Oh shit. Oh, oh my god! She's there fast. Oh, it looks like we could have blown up his, uh, his flamethrower. But, uh, he was coming right for me. He's coming straight for me! My god, he can slow down time like that. And has time to say, suck it. Oh my god, he twisted his ankle. What a fruit loop. Jesus, this thing is so fast. Oh! Help me, Jesus! Help me, Oprah! Just be scared of fire. That scared it off. Oh bollocks. Got that predator vision. Run, Chris. Ash, Ash. Oh, thank God, please. Let, let me in quick. <laughs> ah, yes, those glass panes will definitely oh God, keep it happened? out. We gotta, we gotta go. That thing was like right behind me. <gasps> go, 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 go. Damn, look at this thing. 
Oh. Oh, there goes Josh. He might still be alive. Nah, who we kidding? Oh my God, guys! Thank God. It took you so long. Nasty. So Robert right Carlyle, what a great actor, right? Chris, where's the flamethrower guy? Uh, yeah. Twenty-eight days know. later. He didn't make it. No. What a weeks later. The thing it tore him apart. Right in front of me. Booty, booty, booty. God. I went watch Antlers. I wanted to see it. Was that him? Oh, um, yeah. Are you sure? What are you looking for? Another way out. My Is that the Kevin I Smith really movie now? No, that's Stay Tusk. Stay put right here until dawn. At least we're safe down here. Oh, yeah? All wrapped up like a little present with a bow on top for that thing to tear us apart on Christmas morning? People will come for us in the morning. You don't sound so sure. She looks like she's wearing a... Uh, Is what'll happen, right, Em? An underwater yeah, suit I, I or mean, something. Right? Well, you can wait. I'm leaving. Mike, there's no key for the cable car. Josh, he's got to have it. Josh? One of his dirty little tricks. Great, great. He's got to find that his body. That fucking thing got a hold of Josh. Then, we're shit out of luck. I don't know, Mike. It's possible. Oh, you're right, too. He was. Oh, that's what it he did. I didn't see uh, Bohemian line. Rhapsody. What? I you're saw right. some horrible hey, stuff. Hey, Cyber, how's it going? Hello, Lexi. How you doing today? Lives and... Huh. Thought I would finish up until dawn today. Yeah. Fuck it. I'm gonna get that key right from that thing's goddamn bedroom, and then I'm gonna get us all the hell out of here. And what is all that? So uh, that old guy's bag. Is that a map? <gasps> that guy was prepared for anything. <laughs> Not quite. What is this place? Oh my god. Wait, wait, wait. What is that? I was down there. It was horrible. You were? There'd been a cave in in the 50s, I guess, and these miners got trapped down there. See, maybe that's where the, the cannibalism started. Some of them survived, but like 15 of them didn't make it. There was this reporter, and I think he figured out there'd been some like big cover up going on. It always is. I found these plans. They knew the mine was a death trap, but they let the miners keep working anyway. And I'm not sure what it means, but I found this chair. Dried blood all over the place, like somebody'd been tortured. Michael, I'd like to maybe focus on how we're going to get the fuck out of here, please. I'm just saying, it's weird how much crazy shit's gone on up here. What's weird is that there's a tunnel leading from the lodge to the sanatorium scene. Mm. That's how I got back here. That is weird. I saw this when I was down there. That's where it lives. Um. Um, what is... Huh? What is that? Oh. Uh. Um, oh my god, oh my god, it's, it's oh my nothing. god. It's nothing, oh no, it just, it, oh no, it no, bit no, me no. and... Bit you? What bit you? The, the Wendigo. The what? It's nothing. That, really won't, that won't make her turn though, will it? You okay? Shit. It you have to eat human flesh. Anymore, really, it's, it's not that bad. Em, if that thing bit you... I, I know what you're thinking, Oh and god. I'm fine. Are you? Yes, Emily, at least let us check it out. Emily. If I'm not Wendigo sure how they're gonna you, play the Wendigo lower. One of those things. Oh, that's ridiculous. He said it was from eating each other. Remember, he said oh, that. Is that how it works? Yes. It happens. If it bit you, you're gonna turn into one, and then you're gonna turn on us. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. You can't be down here with us. Yo, Del Toro. Right. Yeah. Wendigo. Hell yeah. He's a great director. Are you kidding me? You're putting us all in danger. Like hell, I am. Emily. You can't stay here. Mike, just cool your head, okay? We don't know if it works like that. Maybe it's just a bite. Yeah. I've seen what these fuckers can do. Benefit of the doubt. And I don't want to say it again. You gonna tie her up too? Guys, what are you doing? It's a mutiny. Door's right here. I am letting you do this voluntarily. Oh no, you're just making yourself feel better about sending me to my death since you know there's a Wendigo out there ready to rip me to pieces like it did with... Okay, oh my god, will you just go? Go, get out of here! Didn't take long for them. Oh shit. Whoa, okay. Whoa, whoa, Damn. Mike, calm down. You're, you're gonna shoot me? <laughs> Mike, me? This is the safe room, M. <laughs> Please. It is not safe as long as you're in it. <laughs> not for us. Don't, don't do this! I'm really sorry. Oh my god! No, no, come on. She probably is gonna turn, but let's just give her the benefit of the doubt. Fuck, I can't do this. Oh my god. You did the 
right thing. I hope you did. Maybe. For now. Shit. I probably should have just let her go on the mincer. Keep an eye on her. If you see anything weird, you guys know what to do. Just bop her on the head. Yeah. No one leave. Okay? It's not safe out there. I'll be back soon. There's some great, like, alternative horror movies out in the last couple of years. I love it. From, like, It Follows to Hereditary and Midsommar. Um, there's one out now, Alex Garland's new movie. It's called Men. It's so creepy. There's this this girl, she's walking around and living her life in some Irish village or uh, looks English-Irish countryside. And she meets this guy, and he, he is quite weird, you know? And, he, and she starts to kind of, like, dream about him and us. stuff. And everybody in the village's me. faces turn to his. Don't have a chance. It's like one of those weird Twilight no, Zone episodes. But then the second half of the movie is fucked tomorrow. up. Like, I some serious old-school horror. That's all I'll say. Oh my god, look at these things. Cannibalism. Wendigo grows out of cannibalism when a human is desperate and craving for... This guy's a little... OCD. I'm trying to read, motherfucker! And... Um, mountain in the fierce winter storms. When he's nothing for many days. The Wendigo spirit. Remember that movie, Alive? Oh my god, ever since that movie, cannibalism is, is just fucked. It's fucked. Hmm. Only a few men have dared to hunt the Wendigo. I'm the only one who has ever kept them under control. Heed these words, it shall be your death, and your death will not be the last. The Wendigo must be contained. Let's see. Eat the flesh from the corpses. Yeah, like, she might be okay from a bite, you know? It's not quite werewolves. You never know. And the change begins. The eyes turn first and become milky and white. Jesus, yeah, so it's from a human. So it must be one of these miners. And the teeth become longer like fangs. Mmm. Nasty. It was a tribe that lived in these mountains. The Cree. The shamans tell stories of a creature born in ice. Respected. There's a lot of history to this. Actually, I'm going to smack the beanie off your head. Respected the mountains and all animals. Watch them. Why does it have to. Just so she says something, has to pull the camera back. Mmm. It was bad luck to harm any animal on the mountain I would hunt. Well, we tried not to. We didn't touch the squirrel. We left the deer alone. In 1893, the miners arrived. Yeah. That's so fucked up. The question is, why bring Hannah and Beth back? There's got to be more there. Sounds like the... Uh, the Wendigo's eyes change to become sharper and more dim. The sea movement. Like a hawk. This says that because the Wendigos are mutated from humans, when they hunt us, they know how to perfectly mimic their prey. I like this little little music there. They're holding the tension in the air. Uh, men. It's just called Men. You know, Alex Garland, he made like a... Oh, we were just talking about with Robert Carlyle. He made like 28 days later and 28 weeks later. Uh, considered some of the best modern... Uh, uh, zombie movies, you know, since the originals. He also made Ex Machina and Annihilation, both great movies. But Men is more, yeah, it's got, I don't know what, yeah, like, same with like Get Out and Us and all them. These alternative horror movies are fucking batshit. So Men is kind of closer to, to, uh, to those. It's just recently come out. Keep keep an eye on it. Um, I hear they're doing like a, a remake of uh, The Toxic Avenger as well, which is wild. With Peter Dinklage, no less. Are they doing, like, mini Toxie or something? Gearing up, raise your Friday the 13th. Oh, nice! You're gonna do a little Friday the 13th? We were just talking about that. Nice. And we're, uh... We're gonna, we're gonna mess around with some Evil Dead tomorrow. If anybody has it and wants to play, you're, you're welcome. You're welcome! Yeah, jot it down. Yeah, give, give it a shot. You never know. Might be fun. It's hard to find more interest in horror movies these days. So, uh, you have to kind of... Go through all the remakes. How's it going, Bernie? How you doing? Yeah, yeah, the one with the yeah, the dude's face is every yeah. I heard like almost like Hereditary, the last half of the movie, last quarter of the movie is just batshit insane. Like I found Hereditary to be quite like a a plodding movie. You know, you knew it was it was building up and it was getting creepier as it went, but it's quite a slow burn, and then it just flies off the handles at the end and has some of the. Uh, the f most fucked up imagery, I would say, in a, in a horror movie in a while, you know. But I think it's just that 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 crazy switch from this kind of family story to uh, just 
crazy, like body shock horror kind of stuff, you know. It's mad. Mad. So we're learning all about the Wendigo. Yeah. Let's see. He's he's killed six Wendigos. Nice. Knives or bullets will not harm them. All right. So use a flamethrower. So fire, we have to go. So even if we shot him with the buckshot, wouldn't have done much. It's clear whatever mutation has allowed them to be quicker and maybe even heal. So if they're f afraid of fire. Fire envelops them, burns away their skin, and makes them weak. But try not to kill them. What? Killing a Wendigo should be the last resort that releases their Wendigo spirit into the air. I have contained them. I use traps to catch them and fire to drive them into cages. The traps were baited with human limbs from those who had further you No, you've... Oh, my God. That's what he was doing with the wolves. Those bones and stuff. So, he, maybe ha he had locked them away in the sanatorium or something. And maybe these feckin' teenagers released them again. One by one, I caught those who had infested the mountains. This poor bass, and then he died like that. Now we know why he used the flamethrower as well. The flamethrower is completely worthless now because it's on his dead, lifeless body. Defenses, shamans wrote, I found native artifacts. Yeah, this, uh, with the totems and the dream catchers and everything, there is a, a deep connection to this game and uh, Native American mythology, which I dig. I dig it. They're playing with stuff they shouldn't be. Hmm. Okay. Feathers, herbs, totems. They keep the Wendigos at bay. Hunger cravings. Found nearby, stripped. Who? Skull and rib cage found miles apart. Who survived the collapse? I oh, see someone, someone got out. Someone got out and started the whole curse. Cree legends say that the Wendigo grows from the bite of an... Oh, no! No! From the bite of another Wendigo. But the bite is harmless. Oh! Okay, okay. Fuck, I need to read before reacting. Jesus. I have been bitten, but I did not change. Okay, so Emily's okay. The only way is to eat the flesh of another. There is no other way. There you go. See? Emily's okay. I really wish they didn't give us so many options to save Emily when I got no option to save Matt. Poor bastard. How's it going, Hades? Hello. Who's there? How many are dead? So we got Matt dead for real, for real. And Jessica's dead for real. For, and I think Josh is dead. I think we're closing in at the end. Usually I would save this for tomorrow. I was kind of doing Friday's little horror game. But tomorrow we'll have the Evil Dead game. And I was thinking, geez, maybe I have like two or four hours of this game left. And I won't be able to squeeze in both. And tomorrow might be a shit show. Because every time they release these... um. Multiplayer games, they fucking die a small death. I, I remember Friday the 13th didn't work for a whole week after it launched. Um, yeah, yeah. those guys are now working on a Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie and a go or not movie, a game and a uh, fucking Ghostbusters game in the same fashion. All they really do now is the whole 5v1 thing or 4v1. It didn't really work out too well for the Predator game. I don't think, but uh, what's wrong is they're going about it the wrong way. You don't want to pick a franchise that really only has one good bad guy. You know, Friday the 13th worked well uh, because it was just genuine fun, but it, it wasn't long before, like, Jason's very limited powers just ran it out. You know, that's where I think Dead by Daylight was better in that regard, but the tiny maps and the basically nothing to do in Dead by Daylight, that's just me, though. When I just see the totems... And the generators, that's all I see. And everyone just loves the grind of, of the blood points, which is nice. But I just wish there was more to do in that game. There's not really anything else to do. Um, but there wasn't a whole lot to do in Friday the 13th either. I just felt like it was more cooperative. You're like uh, getting the police going, your Tommy coming back, and all sorts of stuff. So yeah, it's probably pretty similar in terms of shit to do. But just having those bigger maps and that, was, it was kind of fun. So we'll see. You shot Emily in the fucking face. Nice, dude. She almost fell in the mincemeat. I should have let her go. I really should have done it. Alright, so so it's not like a werewolf bite, everybody. Uh, that's I love when um, uh, horror movies or horror games get, um, you know, breaking the fourth wall and they'll use the lore... What, you know, you know, from like vampires or, or werewolves or whatever that, you know, people would have watched, you know, which is clever. So they all immediately go, you were bitten, you're going to turn, which is uh, werewolf, um, you know, and, and vampire, um, uh, you know, lore, not not when to go necessarily. But this is cool. My first play I think only four survived. And then you say that, but nice. Oh, oh no, 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 no. What? No. What is it? What does it say?
Alright. Em, you'll be okay. I she's staring at the camera. It's so fucking freaky. Stop that, Ashley. I don't like the whole hold still thing because no matter how I hold this controller, it's not good enough. You have to literally put it down. And I blame all that nonsense with haptic feedback bullshit. It was too sensitive. It says You're getting that punished for uh, the controller, not you. The bites. It, if it bites you, it's not infectious. It doesn't do anything. You're fine. Let me see uh, that. I'm sorry, what did you say? Um... It says you'll be okay. It says what? You're gonna be fine. Fine? Michael almost shot me. Is that oh, fine? shut up. And this bitch almost let him. Hey, that's not fair. She was scared. I'm the one who's scared. I, I'm sorry. It's always about you, Emily. Sorry, Emily, I didn't know what was going to happen. There's None of us know. There's no excuse. There's no excuse Please, Emily, this. please, just try to understand. Understand the palm of my hand, bitch. <laughs> oh, God, I hate Emily so much. I'm sorry. I'm so, 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 so sorry. Ashley has like full shit. on PTSD right now. Shit, shit, shit. Yeah, we can't, we can't we get it. Like now. Fuck you, Emily. She doesn't, not one redeeming quality. We've yet to find one. Oh, Joshua. Look at this place. You should have listened to me. Because of your choices, people have died. Is, is Josh dead? I don't dead, know though. which is worse, actively triggering events that lead to someone. Hey, Amid, hello, dude. Or passively allowing. Until no, you didn't miss much. You didn't miss much. Because you couldn't. We're getting into the Wendigos. Should have shot her. <laughs> Should have gave her the mince. There was a whole like uh, grinder. I Should have sent her to the grinder. Are you left your poor sisters to die? You did nothing to help. What the hell happened with them? Paralyzed by your own self-centered fear. While a real threat was closing in. No, it's all about you, Josh. It's always all about you. Josh was taken by the Wendigo, but I don't know if he's dead. Wrong. And your friends like your sisters have deserted you. You're all alone. Can the quarry live up to this Can game? You feel how cold your loneliness has become, huh? Why did you hurt them? Joshua, why did you hurt them? Hmm, so the choices we've been making all along was through the eyes of Josh. So is this thing all just like some psychotic mental break or something? You know, we were picking uh, Josh's fears, our fears, and then they would manifest in the game. Oh, I'm getting the vibe of it like, it was all a dream. Doodly, doodly, doodly. I hope not. I hope not. Well, they didn't hurt you, Joshua. Not intentionally. They made a stupid mistake and a terrible tragedy befell your sisters. They did not intend for that to happen. It just did. And they were sorry, at least, until you subjected them to your night of horrific torture. It's just a game. It's just a game. The uh, whole still part was annoying. I left my control on our desk every time. Yeah. Now, if I leave it on the desk and it does a QT, you're fucked. It's never quick enough. Uh, yeah, you have to. Yeah. Quarry's gonna be... Yeah. I hope so. It looks like they're going for the vibe of a uh, camp slasher. And obviously maybe some kind of weird uh, quarry in the background. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. They've already announced a lot of big name actors. They have um, David Arquette from Scream, you know. Doofus. Uh, they also have Ariel Winter from Modern Wa Family. There's a couple other big names. I just can't go down the line. They do like their celebrities. Whether or not they add anything to the game remains to be seen. But we'll see. Let's hope that it's not too late for a tone. I watched the Sifa. I saw that, dude. Thank That's you so much. Thank you for going back and watching that. I saw the clips and I'm like, oh my god. You somehow managed to caught her. That's what she said in the middle of all that. You crazy thing. Thank you so much. That's, uh, the fact that you would go back and watch that, that's huge. I'm very, very oh my grateful. Guys, thank god. What took you so long? 
It's not so good up there right now. Uh, he's gone. Do you notice these previously on is like Shh, 30 quiet. frames a second? So they look uh, stuttery. Yeah, he, uh... Hey! Ow! Don't move. More of the same, oh, yeah. Shit. What, the <laughs> what are you looking for? Another way out. Mike, there's no key it's, for the It must be only car. like two or Josh, hours to until dawn. He's gotta have it. And what is all that? It may have taken him down to the mine. I was down there. We have to find it's a cool. way to trap You're them back again. Even in the fifties, I guess, and these miners got trapped down there. We're gonna have a si <laughs> situation where we have to lure um, someone in or something. Is, huh? This is the safe room, M. <laughs> Please. Fuck! I can't do this. Oh, Boom. To the right thing. Keep an eye on her. I'm, I'm just going from the poster. Fucking Starfield and Redfall both delayed till next year. Womp womp womp. Yeah, still two hours. Chapter nine. Now we're in the sanatorium. Mike by himself. Five o'clock in the morning. Running on adrenaline alone. Alone. This guy has lost uh, fingers uh, a couple of hours ago. Uh, probably should be going into some form of shock right now, but he's okay. Same with Emily, you still want to dress that. Uh, if it drew blood, you still want to dress it. This thing of just going like, I was bitten, tra la 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 la. It's just, it doesn't work in the real time, baby. Ugh. But yeah, what did you think? What did you think of Sifu? Dude, you killed it. It's crazy, right? We'll see how we go. If we can finish this one quick enough, I might just try and finish that pacifist run of Sifu. It is like crack cocaine. In video game form, I love it. Isn't it, isn't it crazy the difference when a game clicks? I, I didn't change the difference. I was still on Disciple. Whatever was normal. So yeah, it just it just clicked. It opened up. Going just flying. It was awesome. I wouldn't be able to do Master though. I don't think so. He likes his jacket. He's not jacket with him. Oh yeah, yeah. A lot of theories on it. I do have high expectations. I know, isn't that? See, here's the thing. I don't want to be that kind of guy, but we're already seeing a little bit of poor returns on our investment with dark pictures, and that's what I worry about them doing it so much. But this seems to, the the quality seems to be done by like a main team, you know. I don't think there's nothing wrong with any of the dark pictures games. It's just, um, it's so hard to squeeze so much into like a three, four hour, like six hour tops package, you know. And I actually think they started on a pretty low foot, in my opinion. I think. Man of Madan was pretty weak sauce. Is it not gonna let me see into it? Hello? Is that a, maybe that's an old totem or something? But yeah, I, I like the the premise of a ghost ship. Hell yeah, but uh, I just wasn't feeling it. Wasn't feeling. It. All right, that totem must be gone already. Totally totems. This game seems, still seems to have some kind of network uh, issues. Every time I start it up, it goes network failure. So maybe that's connected to the choices or something. They're probably broken. The miracle man. Miracle man. It's the old miners. Seems like one of them escaped and is probably the Wendigo right now. He escaped but found himself stranded on a, on the mountainsides in, in a blizzard. I know it's a kind of weird question to ask, but what if you chopped off your own limb and start eating it? Would that kind of count as cannibalism? I suppose it would. Would that then? Invoke the spirit of the Wendigo. I, I love uh, cryptids and cryptozoology. The idea behind all these um, crazy conspiracy theories around monsters and that. I love it. There's always a, a very small grain of truth, you know. From Even from the most basic, almost uh, happy, you know, like wholesome ones like Bigfoot and things like that. And Sasquatches. All the way to like Mothman. And just, just crazy creepy shit. Huh. I like the idea behind it. What happened on the wolves? No, oh, no. The wolves try and take on uh, the Wendigo. The speed of the Wendigo, that's scary stuff. How Chris even managed to shoot him midair, I will never know. When our poor uh, flamethrower guy. He, he might have been the miner, but I think he was the ex janitor. Bigfoot sighted. Hey, speak of the devil. 14 missing in the mountains. Uncle Mountain found dead. What's oh, this guy? Liars! Footprints found. American girls died. Let's say father died. Oh no, was he one of the miners? Sightings, sightings. He's been hunting these buggers. He's trying to do something good, and he, ha he seemed to have trapped them. It looks like uh, the teenagers released them. 
Little Hope was the weak one. Okay, interesting, interesting. I, did, I wouldn't have thought that. It, it seemed to have the best uh, material to work with, right? You know, the idea of uh, this kind of Salem's Lot vibe, you know, Coven of Witches and all that kind of stuff. I didn't get the. I only played Man and Madan, so I can't really speak to the other two. I didn't pick Little Hope because uh, I didn't like the actor they had shoehorned in there, Will Poulter, whatever his name is. He's got a punchable face written all over him. He should get a tattoo like the Joker over his forehead. That's what, that's the other side of me not wanting them to uh, get actors involved. Because if you have just a dislike for the actor already. I think this, this is my problem with Doctor Strange. I do not like Bend Over and Come in Your Mom or whatever his name is. I don't like that dude. I think, you know who would have, who would have been a better Doctor Strange? Vigo Mortensen, Aragorn himself. Because when I know Doctor Strange, he had these long locks of hair and a badass little goatee, you know. It was cool. It was majestic. But Benedict Cumbersnatch has got the Karen haircut going on for Doctor Strange. It's like Doctor Karen. Paging Doctor Karen. I just, I don't feel it. I don't get it. Shucks. But it is what it is. Other people probably like him. I haven't found the totems to help me too much, even the fortune ones. There we go. Holy hell. Evelyn Daniels. This might be just some of the patients. Could be the miners, you never know. Maybe some female miners. 1952. No, this is all uh, patients from the sanitarium. So this is why I want to get the impatient. I, I, I don't have a PSVR myself, but I can get my hands on one. And it might not be a bad... Uh, thing to play it sitting down. I do suffer from fucking motion sickness, so it wrecks me. But I'd really love to see what it's like. It seems to be really cool. Like you can still make all your choices and all that. It's all set in the sanitarium in the in the fifties. Your chicken nuggets, very nice, very nice. It's a snack. It's a meal. People love their nuggies. Dawn of Ashes was the best. Oh, nice, dude. Okay, cool. That's good. And that that was the one I was least expecting because they kind of shoehorned the whole war side of it in there. You know. It was that, that's the one that's set around the Iraqi war, right? And they stumble upon a temple and draw some kind of beast or something. And then the newest one is the devil in me. So we're going to have a good old-fashioned possession story. Some of the best out there. You know, obviously the... The Exorcist is one of the classics. Possession itself is an uh, is a uh, underrated uh, classic as well. And you've got the more modern ones like um, the Exorcism of Emily Rose and um, Conjuring. I would suppose is kind of like an exorcism. And you get the the two biddies involved. Two biddies. The two mediums. So I think the Lux Edition is good for what? For what? And that's the, I'm sorry, maybe there's a game called Deluxe Edition. What you talking about, Billy? Deluxe Edition for your mom? Yeah, I think she deserves it. Get her that extra package. Put a little bow tie on my dick. She deserves the Deluxe package. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, the quarry? Keep reading, Cyber. I don't know, what's, what's in the Deluxe Edition? Here's the thing about Deluxe Editions and Collector's Editions in digital stuff. There's very little point. There's very little point to anything. All you're getting is digital art books and shite. Um, but when it comes to uh, the physical stuff, I I'm down with that. I fuck with that. I fuck with it. But it's up to you, you know? Some some people, when you're kind of hyped as hell for or a super fan or you love the series and they want to go for it, I say go for it. It's your money at the end of the day. Let nobody tell you different. Are you ready? Oh, I've broken my sphincter. Hello? Sir, this is the chilies. Can you get some help or something? And can I get some mozzarella sticks? Ooh. Sir, you can't eat in your condition. You broke your sphincter. Thy sphincter come, thy will be done. As hurt as it is in, in, in the diapers. Where is it? Let me see. It's still hard to find fucking anything around here. Pre-orders. Can I get some of them, them pre-orders? Yeah, there it is here. Look at this. 84 euro, everybody. Throw your hands in the air and throw your money out the fucking window. 
God damn it! What what's what's become of video games? What's become of Toaster Strudel? So this is the deluxe edition you're talking about. Let's see what comes with it. It better be like some news of your mom or something. A uh, full game, the PS4 and PS5 version. They make it sound like that's a great thing. Like bitch, the rest of them have motherfucking free updates. 80s themed character outfits available post launch. Um, instant access to the death rewind system. Uh oh, don't like the sound of that. Gore fest movie mode. I like the sound of that. And horror history visual filter pack. That is a mouthful right there. Horror history visual filter pack. So it seems like almost like a photo mode filter you can put on the game while you play it. Black and white, film grain, stuff like that. Alright. You don't get the 80s themed character outfits till the 7th of August. Sheesh. That's a lifetime away. A sun sets in the last day of summer camp. The counselors of Hackett's Quarry throw a party to celebrate. But things quickly take a turn for the worst. Hunted by blood-drenched locals and something far more sinister, the teens' party plans unravel and an unpredictable night of horror. So basically, it's definitely worth your money. Players <laughs> of nine counselors, a a nice. That's a lot of characters. That sentence escalated quickly. <laughs> I'm backing them home. Welcome home, back. All right, um, let's see. Your story and their fate. You save your friends and run for your life. Every choice, big or small, shapes your story and determines who lives to tell the tale. Cool. Play with up to seven friends? Wait, what? Wait, what? Invited players, watch along and vote on key decisions. That's cool. It's going to be like a movie night. All right, thank God. For a second there, I thought I was reading fucking Evil Dead. Jesus fucking Christ. Creating a story shaped by the whole group or play together in a party horror couch co-op experience. I like what they're doing with this and then the crowd control stuff as well. They're really trying to push the interactivity and then Twitch really helps with that kind of stuff as well. That's good. It's games like this that, fair enough, all of it might not work, but at least they're trying. I would rather some of these things try new ideas like that and fail, rather than just do the same old tired shit. Shit! Nine people they have to babysit and not get killed. Sounds intense. Probably close to in until dawn, huh? Yeah. DLC. Yeah, the DLC outfits is probably the themed character outfits. But that seems to be it, dude. I don't know. How much are you paying extra for the deluxe edition? That seems like an extra 20 bucks. 20 bucks. That seems like a lot for a bit of cosmetic shite. But it's up to you. How do I get over to the other one? PlayStation. How much is it? Oh, it's 70. They want 75 for it. Oh, my God. I suppose that's the PS5 version. I'll probably end up getting the PS4 version. Let's see. Yeah, it's 70. Jesus, man. Joseph video games, man. Video games. I'm out here still pissed that half of them were, were uh, fucking 60 or. That's a weird name for... Uh... Oh, there's that chick, uh, Brenda Song. Any sweet, sweet Life of Zack and Cody fans? She's in it as well. There's David Arquette. Scream. Brenda Song's in it as well. Damn it. I thought I told you this might be too spoilery, actually. Hold the fucking fuck. I haven't even watched this shit. I ain't even watched this shit. There you go. Either way, you're, you're going to get nailed. Look, you still get the horror history visual filter pack just for buying the game. I don't know, Burns. I'm not really feeling it. For an extra 15 euro, I'm not really feeling it. They're trying to say that you're going to get both versions. But most, most games come with both versions anyway. So I, I'm not... I'm not biting on that lure, that's for sure. Boop. I mean, if you were a, a, a hefty uh, trophy collector. A hefty trophy whore. And I say go for it. I want to get this. I want to get a Vampire the Masquerade Swan Song. It's kind of like detective game. I, c I could fuck with that. Yeah, for Spoken is now October. That'll be a bit of fun. Yes, sir. And Gotham Knights is... Uh, I'm still very optimistic about that. We'll see if they can fuck it up between now and October. That's also October. Yeah, Evil Dead tomorrow, unless something goes wrong, I have a good go. I'm psyched. I'm psyched. I, I actually want to do like a marathon uh, of, of the Evil Dead movies. And then I think they're adding Army of Darkness stuff. Isn't that what you were saying, Burns? That'll be great. That'll be great. What I'd love to see is um, Bruce Campbell himself come on and stream. Dude's a legend. All right, back to the main event. Back to the main the main is that a little son of shotgun yeah please thank you jesus yeah 
Nice. But remember. Remember, remember. Do I get to choose something? No, he's going for the torch. Okay, fine. I just need a pitchfork and a mob. You're actually better with the fire. It's crazy that sounds. Don't I wouldn't light it now though. Alright, whatever. I can't fucking tell him. The mag these magical torches in video games. That shit don't work in real life. You can light whatever, but it's burning down in the sim as a camera. Now we got the buckshot. We got this. Okay, fine. I don't have a choice. Got the whole lot. I would take more than a handful of shells, Good sir. Enough. I would stuff every nook and cranny. Just think about it. You're only going to get two shots off. And you're going to have to reload that sucker. And you only grab the handful. And that means you, you're probably only going to get about four shots off. Uh, let's see. Yeah, 75 is a lot for a game, especially one like Until Dawn. No, I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. 60 was always the sweet spot. But there's so much stigma around games like that. That's why when, you know, you see a game like Evil Dead for 40, you're like, what's wrong with it? Oh, it has no single player. Okay, well, the price point is right, you know. But if you see a game, like some indie games, um, or Souls Likes or whatever, they like to launch at 50. And everyone's like, what? There's something wrong with it. It's got a defect. So we're so um, brainwashed to, you know, 60 or 70. But yeah, we get screwed over here in the EU, even though the, the fucking Euro is stronger. They say, fuck that. The only game recently was Salt and Sacrifice that actually decided to uh, convert properly. So it was $20 for that game in the US store, but only 16 for us. And, you know, it's the little things. Where do we, actually, maybe we don't go back up here. I don't know. Where do we go? Where do we? I don't know what time it comes out. No, I wouldn't know. I don't really fuss about that kind of stuff because I wouldn't be able to play it anyway. So there's probably people playing at midnight. You know, the way it goes whenever it's a new game on a Tuesday or a Friday. I don't care as long as it's out by the time I get home from work. And I, that, it's simple as that. And it usually is. Right. I'm a, I'm a, I do not appreciate this kind of stuff. It, you do this in real life and you're in trouble. The ricochet alone. Tiny microscopic fragments of shrapnel going into your body. Not fun. Hello. Careful now. Remember we're friends. Hey, big guy. Might not be the same wolf, though. Careful. Hello. See me again, huh? It might not be the same one. Hey. Oh Jesus. I was hoping I'd run into you again. Aww. All right. Good boy. Good boy. All right, pal. You're coming with me. Jesus, right. it's, it's like Mike. Here's the plan. Huh? It's like Mike has taken I over. I happen to see a map of this place, so we're not flying blind. There should be a way through the second. Six and five at that point, but nine, right yeah. It was only 60 euro. Think you can handle that? Nice. I bet you, did you, did you pre-order a uh, physical edition? Ah, uh, what? In the store? Yeah, it's probably cheaper in store, dude. Sony, Sony taxes, they say. Yeah, digital only. I feel you on that for sure. It's for PS5. Even the PS4 version was 70, so yeah. Same price on Amazon. Comes out real soon, I haven't heard much on it. What I miss? Pick up the torch first, yeah. Thanks. Uh, 40 is a sweet point. I I agree. Even for for a choice. Oh yeah. So you you think uh, I like some until dawn and that? But see, here's the thing: the dark pictures games are all 30 each. Man of Medan. Now they're on sale right now. You can actually get all of them. Well, all three so far for 30. If you've if you've missed it, I I might just swoop in there. It's up to you guys if you want. I I do want to find more narrative-based horror games because. Uh, at least we can kind of be like choice based up. We've got company. Kidoki boy, calm down. Get the good China out. Play mine first before you play it. Ah, oh. don't don't find don't feel like you have to rush it or anything. Enjoy it. You're probably more hyped for it than Just I am. Like you, I'm only getting into until dawn now. Stuck on this side. Yeah, he's he's basically replaced the uh, the old miner guy. Got wolves. Right. That is nothing. Like, like the hero guy. Awesome. Yeah, me too, dude. Always physical. So you probably save money doing that the way. I do it because I, I can get a, a bit of a return investment, if I'm being honest. Especially when you see how expensive they are. Oh my god. So this is like, um, what you call it? You know, you'd be bringing the. See that? Patience in. 
So you'd have that double door system so they can't just walk out. Where do we go now? Less than 11 hours. Waste of a shell. I hear you. And, and, uh, and it's a buckshot as well. So that fires like a multitude of tiny little pieces. And they, any one of them could reflect back and hit him. But uh, video game logic. Basically, don't try this shit at home. It's going to be a fun one. Oh, my God. So, uh, so when is that? It was June 12th or June something. It's around June anyway. So we got a little bit of time. We got some time to burn. Oh, my God. Wow. It almost feels like a warning or something. Like, why didn't they eat it? Oh, the poor wolf. Imagine finding one of your buddies like that. Jesus Christ. What the fuck have I got myself into? I wonder if, it, if the wolf starts eating the other wolf, does it become a, a wolf to go? Instead of went, no. Bad joke? Sorry. Jesus. Huh. It broke out. The doors were built like tanks. So it was someone. Crazy with these inmates. It was someone in the sanitarium, but we don't know if it was actually a patient. It might have been just where our little flamethrower friend had locked them in. He said he had to. Oh my God! Freaky. Let us out. We are starving, freezing. I will make what went on here? you pay. Stop this testing nuts. us now. Ooh. Hmm. So maybe it's not just a, a Native American curse from the Cree, Cree tribe. Maybe they were doing some weird old testing as well. What are the chances of a sanitarium being Fuck, used man. for some fucked up it's human experimentation? Disgusting. It's always the way. Some good intestines, boy. Don't you waste them. Mm-hmm. Get your little bottle of Chianti. That's just nasty. Mmm. Dying from starvation must be unreal. Oh fuck! There it is. There it is. It's so, so lanky. All of its limbs just elongated. It's pure animal now. Cool. Uh, cool design. Still very much humanoid, right? Yeah, I gotta, I gotta find me. I gotta do a little research and find me some more. Some more little uh, creepy ass horror games we can do. There's so much selection on PC, but I can't stream and fucking game at the same time. It sounds like a goddamn bomb going off. We were here before we got spooked. See, this part here we got spooked with Ashley and and uh, with Chris, right? But like we were told that all the spooks were set up by Josh. How the fuck did he do that? Oh, here we go. Yeah, now you're going to see the weird lobotomies and everything. Uh, we were talking about this before. The way they treated people with mental illnesses back then. Or just people in general. Oh, fuck. He's breaking free. The strength. Jeez, look at him go. The heart rate. Oh, wow. That's, uh, it looks like it's all live action. That's so well done. That was, well, that was really well done. Where did she go? Get him! Uh, that is awesome. That was really well done. So they probably like just flicked the shot, and then he was uh, magically upside down. Going on around here? So they used to uh, say that women had something called hysteria. They were going like fucking yeah, so stupid, stupid ass doctors doing like electric shock therapy on on women. The hell! Yeah, the, will it, the physical edition come with anything nice? That'd be cool to find out. So we're retreading old ground here a little bit. What is it about creepy abandoned hospitals, man? Outlast as well. Holy shit. No, thank you. Some days I get out hankering for wanting to play Outlast 2 again. It's the only one I never really went back to when I finished it. It was fine. It was a good, like, Antichrist story, but my god, did it end fast. Look at this dude. Look at this dude, it's like one of those old gangsters. Uh, what is it, Ep epidermal dispigmentation expected after time on the ground. Severe curvature of thoracic 
region maybe? Post traumatic something? Sounds like you might yeah. It's hard a corneal just for free and clouding. That is hard to read. That is that's definitely doctor's handwriting. Oh my god. Ectodermal dysphoria. Pointing of teeth. Extreme nasal septic something. This is slowly turning. Oh my god. Jesus, hot sauce Christmas cake. This is fucking unbelievable. Not hot sauce Christmas cake. What the fuck, dude? So now, uh... Now Mike knows pretty much what everybody else knows that they were turning like that from humans. Hot sauce Christmas cake. Let's have a look at, through this crack. Oh, he's going for it. The secrets of the sanitarium. Alright, uh, here we go again. That's, that's two shots. So the son off is technically not loaded right now. Alright, game logic. Come on, Mike. Reload the fucking shotgun. Oh, well. It's your funeral. Yoink. Sorry, Alter. To whom it may concern. They are dying outside. I hear them screaming and crying. This hell is my own legacy. God's punishment for my mistakes. Escaping my fate. Death awaits me now. Jefferson Brannigan or something. He puts it back down on him. Damn. Well, at least he didn't fall to the Wendigo. That's uh, one small, tiny little saving grace. Must be a fate worse than hell to be a Wendigo. It's like being possessed in your own body. Oh, and uh, they also did that to... Oh, okay. Yeah, that's, that's true. They still do that to this thing. All these weird Christian camps and all this shit. Fucking idiots, man. The world has gone mad off politics and religion. Pray the gay away. And these are the same people who will freak out and kill their own spouses instead of divorcing them. Who's the real fucked up people here, huh? This is the brainwashed over religious zealots? Or is it the people that are just trying to find their way through their own sexuality? I don't know. Seems like an easy fucking answer to me. Pray the gay away. They need, they, what they need is uh, um, those kind of anti-brainwashing seminars to get people out of religions. That's why there's so many people escaping fucking Latter-day Saints, escaping cults, escaping Scientology, and sharing their stories. It's whacked out of its mind, and it's allowed. It's allowed just run free, not just in America, all around the world. And there's nobody stopping it. Religion just runs free, runs amok. The worst kind of brainwashing, worst kind of uh, propaganda is organized religion. I'm all for people having their own spirituality. That's that's their own choice, their own faith, what they want to believe in. But it has nothing got to do with organized religion. That's the, that's the key. They are making bank off of uh, people's fear of the unknown and, and their fate. Crazy people! So many horror movies around cults and everything as well. It's probably... Probably yeah, no, nobody being self enough, self aware enough to realize maybe they shouldn't be going down starting cults. Jesus! All right, my little friend. I hope you don't die to the Wendigo saving my life. You're a good boy. Huh? Oh, here we go. You don't have any bullets. Don't do that. Why would you? Do? It's just a rat or something. Fucking rat. Yeah, big deal. Oh, fucking hell! Hi, hi, hi. How did he have bullets Ron. left? Fuck. Ron, come on, boy, come on. That's a big fucking rat. Sheesh. Not Jesus, fuck. Just pick something. Go. And he said, you use the bar barricade the door." Hello? Why the torch go out? Jesus, fuck again. God damn it. Come on, come on, Mike. The shotgun ain't gonna save your life now. Uh oh. Watch out, watch out, don't fucking stand there! Wait, what? Machete? Machete! Get 
That's, ju that's just gonna piss it off. He left the torch behind all my fucking gravy pants right now. Just fucking close it. Why do I have to do two buttons? Okay, the dog's okay. That's all that matters. We gotta find a, a, a fire source. Oh, bollocks. Mike doesn't know. He doesn't know about the fire. Oh, here we go again. I'm gonna have to stand still. Really awkward, annoying part. She expected to do both. I'm just gonna put the controller down. If it still triggers it, I'm gonna say fuck this game. Controller is now down. I'm not moving. Controller's on the desk. Alright, I think we're okay. But then it's gonna make me do QTs. I don't want Mike to die. He's kind of got the hero complex going on. Where's the dog? So the dog is some or the wolf. So he's not barking. What a good boy. Down we escaped. Wow. Okay. Damn it. Me palms are sweaty. Knees are weak. Ugh, mom's are skitty. Come on, you son of a bitch. I'd like to get a foot spa and fill it up with mom's spaghetti and just roll my feet around in the no. Where are Too you? far. Take that mental image and smoke us. Yeah, how is he still firing now? Was this unlimited sawn off shotgun? What was it Call of Duty? Damn it. Call of Duty in my pants. What? The? what? Still don't have my hand on the controller. Warm kitty, soft kitty, little ball of piss! <laughs> Should I bother? Fuck it. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Is this shit gonna stop? <laughs> we have to try and trap it somehow. You! Hello! Oh my god! Are they all Wendigos? One at a time, boys. It's enough for me for all ya! Should, should, I don't know. I don't know if I should be shooting here. How has he still got ammo on this thing? Okay. Doesn't really matter us shooting them, does it? It doesn't hurt them. We're just wasting. Oh god. Wow. No. Fuck it. Let's just save the ammo. Doesn't seem to make a difference. Jeez, that was close. Save the ammo. I don't know what the game is trying to tell us here. But I have a feeling this dumbass is going to run out of ammo. Now you run. Always be running. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. No, no, no. Not like this. Not like this. Quickly. Come on. Come on, Mike. That's a good boy. Oh, God. He's calling more of them. Not good. Jesus! Down, you motherfucker! Yes! Now is the time. But we could get stuck in here. Just roll it over! Kick the barrel! Kick the barrel! Yes, yes, kick the barrel! Alright. Say goodnight, motherfuckers! Boom! Whoa! That was the spirit of the Wendigo right there! The spirit of Wendy's! Wendy's nuts be dragging across your face! Alright, that should that actually kill some of them. Because if it released the spirit, that means the spirit's out in the loose looking for some. Where's that where's that wolf? So what's the story with the ammo? Could you have run out of ammo there? This game has a lot of shit going on and you never know. Imagine if you'd run out of ammo there if you shot and you couldn't hit the barrel. Just throw the, the sawn off shotgun. I thought actually Mike got hit there. The worst thing that happened there in that t small tunnel is you'd blow out your eardrums. But uh, it'd be a small little price to pay for saving your life. Not trading the rat for the dog. Oh. Yeah, it's hard to pay attention to chat when, when that, those are going down. Conversation therapy. Or conversion, excuse me. Conversion therapy is that. Yeah, it's insane. Religion is. Uh, yeah. I, I, I know I have strong stances on that stuff, but. Trust me, when you've been when you've been raised 
that kind of stuff from a small uh, childhood, you know, like small age. You have no choice. It's messed up. But I, I stand by it. Like I always say, like if people are happy and they're not hurting anybody, you do you, you know. If you are a religious person, that's fucking fine. That's your own choice. Just these, uh, yeah, these things are just out of control. Out of control. It seems the more time I spend watching true crime, the more, uh, it's sad to say, it leads back to people being in religions. I don't know what's going on over there in the U.S., but every time there's religious connections to a murder or something, it's Latter-day Saints. And I'm like, what the fuck? This, that's one too many coincidences. Jesus. It's almost like giant oppressive religious cult versus uh, trying to keep up with society norms equals implosion. And then, yeah. Who would have thought it? That fucking trying to oppress uh, a person would cause them... To lash out. It's not like it's fucking human nature 101 or anything, no? Oh no! They're, they're like grasshoppers! Nice! This guy's got bullets for days! Where's the wolf? Where's the wolf? Uh, barricade, bar uh, escape! 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 Please, please, please! Go, man, go! I don't think we're gonna uh, barry. Hey, buddy. Yeah, come on, come on. No. Come on down. Don't you dare. It's alright. Please, please, come here. Come here, come on. No. 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 What the fuck? You fucking bastards. If I barricade, would he, would he have survived there? Ah. I always make the worst choices. Took my wolf, now I'm gonna take your life, you fucking wendigo looking bastard. What the fuck? Now, now shoot the fucking barrels. What if none of these are full? Boom! I'm so sorry, wolf buddy. I'm so sorry. Could I have saved the dog? There they go. One survived. Shared up and all that mess. Jeez, that one does not want to die. Didn't shoot all of them then. No, was that really it? Come on, no, guys, I th hurry think up. it's because I didn't. Mike. Come on. Hey. Didn't barricade the door. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of giving out here, guys. Uh, I think maybe right? you should go on without me. But where does he get all the ammo from then? I'm not leaving. We're not leaving you. Poor Ashley's going to end up no, dying because of together. infatuation Mike with Chris. Chris is a cardboard cutout. He's, a, he's just a walking, talking body pillow for Ashley. It not really serve any purpose to society. It's just can't look at him. Look at him. He's an empty vessel of of all the characters in the game. Even God forbid me saying it, but Emily has uh, more character development and just general story than than Chris has. Chris is basically I'm Josh's friend, and that is it. That's the whole connection. This dude. I actually probably care less about him than Emily. At least Emily had some fight now, I'll give her that, but she's very little redeeming qualities. Look at that shot. Oh, fuck. Shit. My I'm must sorry. have behind him. Crap. There's gotta be another way in. I'm so sorry. That poor dog. I gotta hey, go now look at hey, the, what about the choices and have the dog not survive. He was so scared. Should, should we try it? Well, it's not like we got a whole lot of choices here. Yeah, creepy sewers time. Let's go. Nothing like feces under your fingernails. Let's go. <laughs> okay. We have three three ladies, one dude. Chris Chris sitting in the corner picking his ass. Okay, this is maybe the last place I would want to be right now. Couldn't help out, dude. No, fixing your hair. So who's going first? <laughs> After you, Geronimo. 
Sam seems to be like the hero of this group, and it might. It's not so bad. You think this is the tunnel to the sanatorium? So if I would shot every single Wendigo, they go. wouldn't have come after me, would they not? All right, I'll make a mental note of that. Are we back in control of Sam? Can't tell. Chris, I know you're hurt, but you gotta move it, all right? You gotta move it, man. I'm trying, Ash. I don't even know what rightly happened to him. Like what? What happened? Was when he blew up the barrel when he was running from the Wendigo with the, with the flamethrower guy? When did he? When did you get hurt exactly, sir? Hello, sir. Hey, um. Hey, we should close this, right? Huh? Ooh. I mean, what if something's following us? True. Yes, fine, close it. But we gotta keep moving. Can you just catch up? Oh, we're gonna have a choice to close it, are we? Yeah. You're not gonna be lifted back over. Oh, we don't have a choice. Okay, I'm actually happier that there's uh, no choice there. So we have to escape this way. It is much harder to lift that thing being on the opposite side of gravity. Hey, you're in control of Ashley. I like. I feel bad for Ashley. She seems to be the youngest of the group, so this is really gonna scare her. The rest of them have a chance, you know, with a lot of counselling and therapy to probably get over all this. But Ashley, you're just young enough that uh, when you go through something like this, it really does alter your your whole life, changes your outlook on everything, changes you as a person. Poor thing. She's this close to just going into like a nervous breakdown. Everyone else is like. God damn gosh darn Wendigos, I swear, every we go, the Wendigo goes. Is that Emily? Hello? Hey. Who's there? Anybody? Jessica! Is it you? No way is it Jessica, she had her jaw ripped off. Investigate voice or rejoin group. Now we know Scooby Doo taught us anything. You never split up. But damn, I'm actually a little bit curious. But you know what happens to the curious cat? She gets the cream. No, she gets killed. Curiosity killed the cat. What do we do? Get lo get lost to Emily, and this is every man's dream. A a. Let's go. Let's go. Uh oh, that There's darn butterfly effect me. again. Jessica. Ugh! Jessica, is that you? Jessica, oh my God, you're totally missing your bottom jaw, as opposed to your top jaw. She got locked jaw. What have I done, Ashley? I hope I haven't sealed your face. This is some saucy baka shit right now. Oh my god. Ay, 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 ay. Uh. Seems fine. Oh! Uh. Well, suck my balls. I'm so sorry, Ashley. One, one tiny little choice is all it took. She's, she's still alive, right? Riff Bozo on that one. I liked Ashley as well. I should have listened to my gut. Now we get to see her guts. What the fuck? Oh well. Chalk one, another one up. Yes. My KD is fucking looking awesome. Hell yes. <laughs> Guys, check out my KD. Jesus Christ. I got a four point KD, man. As much as that stuff is funny to think about the old card days, people still whine and dine about their fucking KDs. Whine the body. There goes Josh again, falling down, place breaking his neck. That old bastard, I swear to God. Oh, right. great. Oh, shit. How is Emily still shit, alive? Evan. Are you fucking uh, yanking my balls here at this point, it. game? It's like Thank the you. rock wall. That's what, I'm, that's what I'm waiting for. Oh, they're just gonna fall through there. 
I'm gonna keep going. Fuck PSVR 2. I'm waiting for full Get interactivity. Uh, shouldn't we stick together? I have like mouth Damn. haptics. I want I, some, I'm sorry. some ball I'm haptics. Sorry, I have to get Mike with you or without you. Just make it back, okay? Just play the video game and you get, you get a nice little tinkle in your balls every five minutes uh. or so. Do you think we're gonna get super cuties and uh Come on, girl, you could do it. There's something up there. In uh, the quarry. Jesus, there's the the cuties just come too hard and fast. That's what she said. Ah, I, I wasn't even looking. Leap, take a leap of faith. Gingerly. I'm, I'm, I've said my piece on QTs before. Gotta get up there. I don't enjoy them, but I, I get what they're doing in this game. You know, it's like a reaction and you. choice. I fucking beat you. Careful now. Damn, I done got actually killed, guys. I, I'm I'm pissed. Emily's still alive. This is possibly the worst playthrough of Until Dawn ever seen. You're all a part of us. Well done. Well done. Well done! If I get hit in Panettiere dead, killed, I'm uninstalling. No credits, no nothing. Where did she get the head? That must be uh, Mike blowing up the barrels. I like when they do that kind of stuff. To show that the events are happening. Pretty close together. She said, okay, yeah, tis but a flesh wound. There's nothing better when they show that little bit of uh, movement in the facial expressions or whatever Hello? after being beheaded, because that is exactly what would happen. It would be a brief moment where the blood in the brain still allows you to kind of, yeah, it's fucked up. We're going to find a Wendigo sucking on Ashley's throat hole. Hell yeah. Sounds like a twisted weekend in Amsterdam to me. Yeah. yeah. You got sign a mission to kill everybody. No, I'm sorry. Damn, I thought the barrel exploded, you bastards. At least we got the supernatural stuff back. I asked for it. Just without the... Just without the, the supernatural boys. A hint before that scene, the Wendigos can imitate voices. Ah, that one's on me. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, but I, 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 the same thing happened with Matt. I'm not a big fan of that. I get that the initial choice is uh, where you're at, but there should always be a way to get out of it. Like, with Matt, I just walked backwards, and he was murdered the fuck. I had never had a choice. Never had a QT or anything. But actually, I sent her to her doom, don't get me wrong. But at that point, by going down that way, there was never a moment to, like... Not check out that little tiny cellar door or whatever. I was fucked from the get go as soon as I made that. Hey, I can't, I can't move. Oh, yes! Oh my God, how sharp is that shovel? I suppose it was already burnt to a crisp. We used the saw off. Not a bad idea. There goes the wind to go Uh, Define all right. Alive, for a start. Yeah, yeah, life's good. Our two little heroes. What the hell are you doing here anyway? I was gonna warn you about the wind goes. Damn, I'm, I'm making a lot of bad choices. Let's find a way down to where this fucker lives. They don't like fire, but that one was that pissed. I said, fuck it. I'm still coming after you. The charred remains. The ones who's human. Yeah, there it is. Why? Wow. Why do you gotta go and replay that? Oh. Jessica! What? Is, what is this? Mike, Cyber's no worst moments. Come on. on. Josh, he's gotta have it. I kind of want to see the deaths. I'm sorry. Gone. There it is. We're the truth's late. revealed. <laughs> it may have taken him down to the mine. It's like seeing Lara die in Tomb Raider. You can't help, right? Morbid fascination. Holy shit! What the? Ah! A good death is a good death. I'm gonna get that key right from that thing's goddamn bedroom, and then I'm gonna get us all the hell out of here. Could you have saved that <laughs> flamethrower, man? Hey! All right, I didn't see that scene. Whoa! Let's find a way down to where this fucker lives. Chris is not gonna be happy about about Ashley. That's for sure. No poo nanny. 
Temperature 10. Must be getting close. Yeah, I, I said the whole Scooby-Doo thing, huh? I was like, don't split up the gang. When I did it, I split up the gang. I'm sorry. Maybe Josh is alive. He sure took a big tumble there. That'd break anybody's neck. I wonder how much these sessions are of any help to you now. Just won't listen to me and think seems pretty... Oh. Fucked up. So I I'm gonna leave you now, Josh. It's time you learn. There's more to be afraid of that can be dreamt up by the unhinged imagination of a self-indulgent, spoiled little brat. You had so many people who cared about you, who were willing to help. But at every turn, you choose to push them away, and now you're all alone. <laughs> So by the sounds of things, it won't be long for long. No, you won't be alone for long. Deep breaths, Josh. Deep breath. His time has come. He's been fed to the masses. Oh my god, Hannah? Oh, that, what a twisted... Way to die. In his fractured mental state, he now hears both of his sisters singing. Get away! Get away! Get away from me! No! You're dead! Sorry. You're dead! Shut up! No! You're dead! That's not right. You manipulate no. You are oh, a coward. There, God. Yeah, I want to start that a bit more. I'm gonna take orders from you. You can't. You can't tell me what to do. You can't tell me what to do anymore. Just run out for Josh. Okay. Okay. I trust you. I trust you. I trust you. I get to control Josh. You feel bad for Josh? Yeah, it's it's um. Oh my God! No, 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 no. You're not real. You were all alone down there. It's uh, unchecked trauma. Where the hell do we go? That's what happened with him. All alone. But you're with us now. Family. Get away from me! Get away! Why didn't you save us, Josh? Why did you want us to die? I didn't want you to die. I swear. Creepy. The lost souls of the dead. Can we just can we just can we just stand still? There's no way this guy's surviving, is there? It's okay, dude. You're gonna have a very successful movie career after this. It's alright. Um yeah. Guy's sister's killed because of a prank. Everyone acts like nothing happened. Who who was the, the true architect of the prank it seemed to be everybody right they really made it look like that but it did seem to come from like sort of like a you know an emily jessica mike is the main instigators spend the rest of his life in the nut house yeah he's not going to survive that long that's for sure cool cool yeah oh my god no! What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Just punched an imaginary giant peg. Oh my god. Yeah, he's he's gone. He is gone. Trash. No, I don't. I don't take orders from you. Sick, I love it. Why are you doing this? This is so twisted. Why are you doing this? Why didn't you save us, Josh? Why did you want us to die? Jesus. I was not prepared for how ugly that thing would be. 
Yeah. He's probably just standing in the dark so, by himself. I noticed something kind of weird. He is about gone. Him. There's no coming back from uh, that. What? No one to go. It had a scar. So? I've seen it before. What are you talking about? I saw these old pictures of some guys with that scar, and he was transforming into a Wendigo. You're kidding. It was one of the miners who'd been trapped back in the 50s in the cave in, which means that thing is 80 years old. You see, I wonder where that come up in uh, the impatient. Spunky for an old timer. Spunky! They cleaned the place out, killed a lot of people. They? You mean there are more of them? Every patient. Oh, yeah. How many? Too many. How many did we actually kill? A four, maybe? I think we're close. Everyone later. except Sam and Emily's no. boyfriend. Yeah. No, I just feel really terrible all of a sudden. Mass. I think yeah. he was a good guy. Fuck, it was a, a shitty, shitty I really death. I don't want to go in there. There's no other way through. It's totem time! Go, go, Power Rangers! Oh, damn. Okay. Looks like the cabin's gonna be on fire. Might be a good time to call an insurance company, hmm? <sighs> we were all arson around and then Go someone committed arson. Yeah. Into the water. Oh. Come on, it's okay. You sure? Oh, I'm not dead yet. Oh it's man. Yeah, definitely famous last words. Oh, this person hit me with my fingers. He's completely out of it, Jesus, yeah, that's so yeah, he, he might not always been a a twisted little pup, you know. Well, I didn't say that. I said, That's what happens. Okay. Like I was saying, like people are generally not born evil. It tends to be like uh, it turns them bad as you know, fucking the whole nature versus nurture thing, right? Abuse, trauma, whatever it is, it, it goes unchecked. That's why most. Uh, people who are abused become abusers, and people who are bullied end up becoming bullies in a lot of cases. I bet you it's nice and cold. Mm. Most of that, like, down there is probably more feces and piss than anything at this point. We can go back in for the crack? No? What the fuck? I didn't know you were going to do that. Alright, fuck it. Hell yeah. I'm going back for seconds. I dropped my wallet. Did you see it? Mike, I dropped my wallet. I know it's not a big deal, but I swear I had a Polaroid of nudes in there. I can't let the Wendigo see it. You know what's worse than a hungry, pissed off Wendigo? A horny, hungry, pissed off Wendigo. Hell no! Have you seen my wallet? It was, it was, my, it was my spunky face. I swear. I also have a butterfly tattoo. But not in the same place as Hannah. Giggity! Hey Pyro, how's it going, dude? I was doing an ab workout and I threw up. Oh shit, dude, you pushed it too far. Uh, that surprisingly can happen pretty easy. Thought that it would be a good idea to go all the regular exercise, but whole weights that could go wrong. Push yourself too. Yeah, push through the pain and threw up. Just mind yourself. Know your limits. Ah. Oh. Ah. oh my god, this is all the dead friends. The collecting heads. <laughs> Jessica. It's Jess. Who's the, the person with the black hair? Oh. What, what that tongue do though? Who are the other two? Hello. They can swim. Oh, sick. Jess, there's Matt. And then there's the flamethrower guy. Everybody dead. It's a gallery of gore. Oh my god. Oh, there's Ashley. No. Catch a clue. I'm gonna be sick. No, Pyro's already been sick. Don't be sick. Wait, wait, wait. Don't be feeling okay now, dude. It's never a good idea to be looking through the cracks. Oh, Jesus, it's Josh. Yeah, look, he's just standing in the dark. I, I wouldn't go near him. He's liable to be violent. His mind is gone. He's gone. You can't tell me what to do. Okay. Okay. You can't help Josh now. I trust you. I trust you. 
Oh, remember when he punched the pig? He ended up punching Mike. What's the matter with Mike? He's tripping or something. Josh! M Mike. Josh! Hey, man. He's, he's, he's gone. Don't hit me, please, please, please. Well, you were deep in it, man. Full metal jacket. <laughs> I don't think we'd get you back. Instead of full hey, metal jacket. Get the fuck out of here. Okay. Josh, do you have the key for the cable car? Uh, Most yeah. serial killers were abused. Yeah, it's it's like almost 99% of the times. There's the rare occasions when they uh, grow up in a perfect childhood and then just snap. That means there's a direct way. But out it's the crazy the correlation though. Yeah. Getting there's a butterfly no tat on your ass so when the homies just sla clapping them you cheeks. Help me up, I can go back <laughs> and tell the others we're okay. Yeah. That's a butterfly. Yeah, sure. You bring Josh back the way we came and we'll get a watch. tattoo of a caterpillar on the other yeah. side. Yeah, you do. You clap. Fast enough, and it turns it's kind of pillar turn into a butterfly. All right, let's go. You fucked up, son of a bitch. Matthew, hello, welcome. You got Ashley killed. I know. How could I have done it? Do you know what happened? I didn't listen to my own advice. It was like, do you split up or stay with the group? And I even, I even mentioned Scooby Doo never split up, and I still did it. I was wrong. Ashley was the good, the only good one, the innocent one. I got a more diddly ordered. Now, her severed head fits nicely on my mantelpiece. She'll stay with me forever. Forever? Josh, are you prepared to see what you're about to see, therefore? I like how the Wendigos are, are taking the heads, a little trophy. Some weird, twisted, animalistic side. But we also take trophies as humans as well. How are you doing, anyway? It's my first time playing this, so I'm making a lot of mess ups. I wanted to give it a shot before the quarry comes out in June. Are you hyped for it? The quarry. Seems like they're adding a lot of new, like, uh, interactive multiplayer stuff. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. Okay. Uh, yeah, jo Josh needs to be. At this point, I don't think there's much he can do for me. He'd need to be probably just. Admitted for the rest of his life. I don't think medication could save him now. I don't need to turn him into a baseball. Thank you so much for that follow. I appreciate that. Thank you, Matthew. Always good to see uh, horror fans. Although, like, it, it's Josh's mind breaking. Seeing some of that really gory shit was awesome. That was nice. I didn't think I was kind of disappointed in the spooky stuff earlier on. Being um, all smoke and mirrors. So it was nice to go back to that. But in this case, you know, it's a. Uh, mental breakdown so it's not spooky but it allows them to use oh jesus oh! there goes mike oh, you're not real very real no, very you're not. oh my god oh my god that's hannah wow I, there was nothing i could do there Oh my god! Alright, Josh, you are now at peace. Damn, the sister got her payback. So so that means that Beth and Hannah, somebody had to have eaten the other sister. That's nasty. Damn, Hannah turned into a Wendigo. So that means Hannah ate Beth. Wow, I thought 7, 8, 9, but Hannah ate Beth. Uh, let's go for a climb. So the last time I tried just climbing, the game punished me because I took too long and it killed Jess. So, which is it? Can I get... Uh, let's go for the jump. It's the climb! Come on. Come on, Hayden Panettiere. Because she's quite small. It's probably just, um, you know, a small six-foot climb. But she's turned it into four hours of incredible, intense QTE action. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's me. Didn't find the diary. Did I, did I miss... Where was the diary? So if you if you go the other way, Ashley finds the diary, is it? It's the diary of a Wendigo. Dear diary. Today I'm feeling awful feisty. I feel like I could just eat someone alive, you know what I'm saying? Bang! Look at this, all this like running and racing around, jumping, and then you've all you've got is slow walk and fast walk. Look at like she looks like she's pooted. She's done the business in her pants, like, the deed is done, there's no run into the toilet. And now she's had to hold her ass cheeks together while it sloshes around, and she finds somewhere to change her drawers. That's what's going on right now. Mm-hmm. Just let that sit and simmer 
as a mental image deep down in your soul hole. I hold back the vomit. I like the water sections. One ate the other. That's messed up. Damn. I know there's probably a couple of stepsister kinks out there. Very happy right now. You back then when this came out in 2015? There's no such thing as the step... I think the whole stepsister meme thing is a prime example of people getting so invested in memes that they're discovering uh, they have kinks. It's messed up. You know, if you go in that kind of water in this cold... You've probably got about 20 minutes before you're uh, going to start to get a little frostbite set in. If I save one person, let it be Sam. That's right. The screams are coming for you, but let's slowly walk to our destination. Final destination. I'm really bad with QTs. I think that's why I don't like them as much. Not even reaction times. It's just trying to... Enjoy my cutscene. Stop interrupting it with giant buttons on the screen. It's like a uh, baby's first connect the dot puzzle. That's what QTEs and video games are like. Triangle, square. That's it. Now you run. Hmm? Now you run. Look at you. question is, can you even get half of these killed? I think you guys said you've killed everybody, so... <laughs> I might be tripping over that. Oh! The canister. Nobody left! Sam. Whoa! Just seen a ghost. Gonna look worse if we stay out here. Come on. Never seen a group of teenagers be so destroyed by panes of glass. Finally, someone fucking gonna break the glass. Hell yes. Watch out now. Don't cut yourself. Okay. Be careful as well, Mike. You're missing a few digits. There you go. See, perfectly safe. Mike, what happened to Josh? I got him. You know. God. Watermelon. Off a way to go. Splash. That's right. Draw more Not attention. Good. Damn. What do you think we should do? We should check the basement. Might be someone left out. Wh where's Where's Chris and Emily in all this? Maybe they could be end up being two of the worst characters in the game. End up being star-crossed dumbass lovers. I'd be down for that. Love lifts us up where we belong. Throw away characters! <laughs> Bruh. Emily's misunderstood. Oh, damn. I'm gonna have to start banning people. <laughs> it's gonna start a chat war. Fight, fight, food, fight! Wait, that's not food. That's severed heads. Yay! Alright, quiet down, children. Everyone open their happy meal. Mine's got a severed head! Well done. Mine's got Mike's missing fingers. Very good. Mine's got that dead dog. Oh, oh well, that's too far. Too far. You know, Happy Meals in my day, we got these great toys. But these days, you know, society's moved on. You're getting separate limbs in your Happy Meals these days. Mm. It's only Mike and her now. Wait, what happened to... No, no, no. Chris and, Chris and Emily, yeah. And Chris. Chris is fine. Chris. 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 Emily's your favorite character. That's a bold statement, sir. Sir, please, sir. Sir. You know not what you have done. <laughs> you mustn't side with the Emily. She crazy, but I I will say she's uh, resilient. Yeah. Bitch, don't want to die. I'll give her that. You know, Matt just walks around like, "Hello, kill me." There's a big bullseye right here. Oh, here they are. Jeez, he's running now, boys. What happened to the broken leg and, and all that? I can't I can't move. Oh, shit. There's two of them. Hey, what's going on here? What's this camera angle? What the fuck was that camera angle? Emily just doing the, the hibbity dibbity. Oh my god! Don't move! Don't move! Don't move. Ah! Don't fucking move. It must. 
Turn off the headlight. Oh my god. It's Gollum. It's Gollum's lanky older brother. Oh my god, there's so many of them. They're like crickets and grasshoppers, they're so fast. It's like those little sticky. They're gonna fight each other? Oh, oh shit! Woo! Why are they fighting? Oh, he released the gas, there it is. Fucking celebrity Wendigo deathmatch. I got a fiver on Hannah. Oh, yes. That's it. Turn on the lights. Tick, tick, boom. Do we do it though? Does that kill everybody? What do we do? What do we do? It's gonna kill. It's gonna kill everybody though, right? I think I'll be able to make it out. Just this better, better love story than Twilight. Fuck yeah. Nice. I enjoy a good decapitation as much as the next person. Damn, Hannah. You looking fine as fuck. Is he gonna break it with his hand? Dude! You didn't, you didn't cut your hand? Oh, well done, Chris. Chicken shit. Run to switch, save Mike. Uh, run to switch. I'm gonna do it! Go! Oh god. Jesus! Hannah just saved our life! Boom! Oh no, my. <laughs> oh shit! Damn. Emily finally died. All it took was a giant explosion to kill that bitch. And poor Mike, uh, dude, I have made some awful bad choices. Fucking Chris survived. We have visual. The there it is. is completely it's all over. over. Hold on, I'm seeing something. I have confirmation. So if I if I had saved survivors. Mike, would it have helped? Let's pick him up. Finally, Emily, final girl. Oh, he lights. Yeah, burning the place. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't move, size screeches. I know. I'm sorry. Damn, that was tough. If I had tried to save... Oh, here we go. That's it. Wow, that's it. Jeez, talk about ripping off the band-aid. Oh, look. So they didn't actually die there. Oh, did they? Which was it? I don't know how you're getting up from that. Yes. Uh, I gotta see the deaths again. Oh, I'm sorry, Ashley. I, I, wish, I wish Chris had died. So, sucks that Mike had to die as well. Emily had, like, four different ways to die in it. Poor Matt got done dirty. Spent most of his life listening to fucking Emily bitch and moan. Jessica, Jessica I felt like I, I didn't have much control over. Just because I wanted to go the safe way. And poor Mike. Uh, after everything he's been through. <clears throat> everyone, everyone here it's Emily because she's, the, she's the, the prissy snooty one, you know. Could you have saved Josh? Maybe not going underwater. Uh, the old man. Oh, I, this uh, is cool. A little testimony. I, I don't know how to describe him. I mean, you said you thought Police he was interview. stalking you at first. Oh, man, I don't like Chris at all. <clears throat> yeah, so she's kind of the posh, stuck-up, oh, prissy yeah. bitch, and <laughs> she starts fights with everyone. She them. treats Matt like, Matt like garbage. What? Yeah. No. Generally no, you, written to be a bitch, understand. basically. Don't you understand? If he attacked you, he saved my life. Awesome game. And I watched him die. Would well, you get at him for saving everybody? I thought we were close. After his Scary sister, how much she looks like Hayden. Oh my god. Him. He said I was the only one who understood him. I thought. Best choice to save Mike. Aww. Oh. I didn't think if we'd have time to do both. To to. I'm fine. Sometimes, after a traumatic experience. I said I'm fine. I want to hear more about Sam's story. Give us, give us more. 
It was my fault Mike died. I wasn't supposed to move. She's giving us those crazy eyes, but though. I did. And he saved me. Giving those Britney Spears so it's eyes. My fault that he died. Emily's a Karen. She's... You need to listen to me. She's crazy. I don't care if you believe me or not. It doesn't matter because you will. You need to go down to the mines. What's in the mines, Sam? I've seen what's down there. And I'd give anything to unsee it. Even that's 2015, like I think the character models look fantastic. Now you know, don't they use this song for all the dark pictures as well, oh death? <clears throat> it's an it's an old song, an old poem basically. It's one of those things where they don't really know where the origin comes from. Was it like going back to the age of pirates and everything? <clears throat> Maybe even medieval times. Damn. I would have definitely saved Mike, but I was like, maybe we don't have a choice. I didn't know how anyone was going to get out alive. I don't even know how um, <clears throat> Sam got out alive. Genuinely like her. I also seen the game about 30 times, so I'm used to it. Yeah, I suppose you're right. It's that you get rid of that initial um, the, the hate factor. I, I, that's what I, I was hoping she would have some redeeming qualities. Damn. 